Well, hi, everybody. This is your stay-at-home grandma, and I'm making you the on in my way. Now, I'm doing using this pan because it's only my husband and I. So we don't need a whole lot. But I'm using... I'll put the other cheese back. This cabbage mozzarella cheese. And I'm using... With the cheese back. Mm -mm -mm. This mild cheddar cheese. Sargento's and my hamburger's already started. I'm getting ready to season it. So let's see if you can. Yeah, you can see. This is my hamburger. So I just started. Because I cut up my onions and everything. I'm, I know you didn't want to see that. Yeah. Anyway, just keep it. How's everybody doing? I am doing fine. Any day to death. This is Italian spices. And it's by All Natural. Sassafras, I think. If I can have my glasses on, I can see, huh? This is by, yeah, Sassafras. That's the Italian seasoning. I'm going to put about two tablespoons. I'm going to eyeball it. Let's put about two tablespoons in. Then you mix it around. Now, I put in some seasoning salt. This is just seasoning salt, it's a supreme tradition. This is from the dollar store. I have other seasoning salt up there, but I'm going to use this one. Then I'm going to mix that around there. Now you're going to use the garlic, the go go garlic by Strawberry Cheese Farms. This is the go go garlic. And you're going to use a little bit of the Dallas Store Supreme Tradition Garlic Powder. Now that this is done, something that I do with this one, I am using the bows, the little bow, little like little bow ties. I'm using that today. And this is kind of traditional sauce. I'm going to pour this in. Just to use up the dough. Go this way. So 
sweep this around. This is almost done and ready to go. I'm going to do something a little bit different because I'm going to mix this in. Yeah, I know, but... Mix it all in. Now. I wish I could bring it to the, to the table, but... It's not a good idea for me. You know why. Right. I'm going to put the cheese in. The cheese in. And I'm seeing it on the side so you can see it. And the pepperoni, by the way. Something a little different. Put this all over here. Put you, I'll put you all up later. like this. You know, my pan is already buttered. You see me? Okay, good. So I'm going to take some of this with a bigger spoon. I'm just turning around to make sure you can see me. This is on the bottom. Left on the bottom. Then I'm going to sprinkle some of the cheese on here. Some of the mozzarella. Give it that mozzarella pull. salt before I put on the pepperoni. Put this on top of the trash can so I throw on it for a little bit. That's okay. Add a little salt. Then I'm going to put on the pepperoni. A couple of slices of pepperoni. Well, more than a couple of slices, you know. My granddaughter loves pepperoni. And yesterday, I talked about some pepperoni for her to have with some, you know, with some um, crackers and cheese. And she said, I don't want the crackers. I just want the pepperoni. So she made a pepperoni with pepperoni taco. She wrapped her cheese into the pepperoni. I'm thinking five years old already she's cooking. 
Got her little brain going. Got a piece on the floor, pick that up later too. Let's be careful. Okay. Some more salt. Which I should have put on before I put on the cheese. Some more cheese. Okay, on it. Donut. You want to put the chop on? Oven's already preheated. I like the shredded cheese. I'll try to shred it when I make it. I haven't made cheese in a while. I'm going to start making my mozzarella and stuff like my mom used to do. And it lasts it. And then I can also make cheese for my granddaughter. And then the pepperoni. When it goes, at 350, and I'll wait for that. I'm gonna have some of the leftover and okay, talk to you in a minute. I didn't want to fill it up too much because I just didn't. So I won't run over. But I didn't put anything underneath the oven to pop it. Put a little bit of mozzarella on here. So pretty much, when you do something like that, you just wanted a little bit of a difference, you know, it's that I don't always have to use the lasagna, I can use the pepperoni, I can use the, the bow tie, and um, let's see how it tastes, even though it's not in the oven, put, this is in the oven, but... Oh, that's good. You can taste the Italian sausage seasoning in it. Sometimes I put sausage in it. It depends upon what kind of mood I'm in. So I'm going to go. And I'm going to come back when it's done and show you that I'll do the part two. And so I like it. I love it. I love you. Take care. God bless. See you in a few.